Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the watermark inside the KineMaster video editing app for free. But there are some things that I need to explain to you so you fully understand what's going on before we open up the app. And it's really important that you pay attention to all of these so everything works correctly and you do not violate the license with KineMaster. The first thing you need to know is this is only available because of a partnership with KineMaster and Muzerk. If you go into the music asset area of KineMaster, you're gonna see Muzerk. And the way this works is you have to use a Muzerk track on your video. Now, if you don't want music on your video, this obviously isn't gonna work for you and I suggest paying for the app. But if you don't mind having a track on your video, and this is free music by the way, then you can use this and remove the watermark. And I'm gonna show you how to do this just a little bit later, but just keep in mind also per their agreement with Muzerk and what they say in their licensing term and FAQ is that the music has to be audible for most of the video. So make sure when you choose a track and you put it into your video, make sure that you do hear it. You can turn it down low, but it has to be audible throughout the majority of the video. Now, the other thing you need to understand is that you can never monetize videos that you use Mazurk tracks on if you're using KineMaster for free. This is, the, this is the give and take right here. So you don't have to pay for the app, but if you use the Mazurk track in partnership with KineMaster, you can remove the watermark. You can just never ever monetize that video. And what they say in their licensing agreement is, is that they reserve the right to claim your video to put ads on top of it. This is not a copyright strike. They're not going to strike your video. But what this does mean is that if your channel is monetized, then they can play ads on your video or they can receive the money that you would make on that video. You're not paying for the app, but you are gonna pay for it this way. Now, if your channel's not monetized or you don't care about getting monetized, this isn't a problem. In my personal opinion, if you can't get this app, if you can't pay for it for whatever reason, this is a great way to get started. Then when you start making income elsewhere, you find other ways to monetize your channel, then you can buy the KineMaster app. But the videos that you've uploaded, those are gonna stay there and Muzert can come back and claim those or they can claim the money that you would make on those when you monetize your channel. Now this isn't a deal breaker and it's a really good incentive to actually pay for the app if you can pay for the app. But if you're trying to get started and this is the only way you can do it, then this is a fantastic way to get started. Number one, you get music. Number two, you get to remove the watermark in the KineMaster app. So that's like a double win right there, getting started and that's kind of hard to beat. But I'm always going to say to everybody, if you can't afford the app, buy the app. Not only does it remove the watermark, but you get a lot of their assets and you can use those everywhere, not just on YouTube. So that's another thing I wanna talk about is when you use these tracks, you can only use them on YouTube. You can't use them anywhere else when you're using the Mazurk tracks. But when you pay for KineMaster, be it the monthly subscription or the yearly subscription, the music assets that you get inside of KineMaster, you can use those anywhere, even for commercial use. But when you're doing it for free to remove the watermark and you're using Mazurk, it is for personal use only and it's only for YouTube. This is very important because if you put this on Facebook, you put this on Instagram and they find it, they will remove it. So it has to go to YouTube and for personal use only. And before I move on, I wanna say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content with your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let me move on to the next thing that you need to know about. And that's that you have to upload your video directly from KineMaster to your YouTube account. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that and just a minute. And by the way, I'm going to put links in the description below to the terms of the KineMaster and Mazurk deal so you can read over the license as well as their FAQ so you can get a good idea of what's going on if you have any questions. By the way, KineMaster, they are very responsive on Twitter. So if you have any questions whatsoever, reach out to them. I'm going to put their Twitter handle down in the description as well. Now that was a lot of information and I know it took a little bit of time to get here. Thanks for hanging out. But I wanted to give you all the information so you can make an informed decision and decide if you want to buy the app or you want to continue with the free version and I wanted to make sure that you didn't make a mistake using the free version to violate a license somewhere. So now let's open up KineMaster and let me show you how to do this and upload it to YouTube. So when you open the KineMaster app, you're gonna have your project already inside. You're gonna have your editing put together. You're gonna have everything ready to export. But if you haven't done that yet, I'm gonna show you how to add a clip really quick. You go into media here on the top, you choose a video that you want, tap on it and it just drops it right in there. So this is the image that I'm gonna use right here and I'm just gonna do a little trimming. I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna tap on it, go to the scissors and I'm gonna trim everything to the left. And I'm gonna go to the end where I don't want it and I'm gonna trim everything to the right, tapping on it again. 
Okay, so that's the clip that I want to export. So what I wanna do now is I wanna add the music track. So I'm gonna go to the Asset Store, which is this little shop icon right here. I wanna tap on that. And then as I scroll down on the left, you're gonna see the icon for music. You wanna tap on that. And then at the bottom here, you're gonna say Muzerk. You're gonna tap on that. And these are the tracks that you can choose from. So for this track, let's do something like Epic Movie. I'm gonna tap on it. Over here on the right, I'm gonna tap on Download. Then I'm gonna X out here, close that out, and I am back to my track. So what I wanna do is go over here to the audio icon. I'm gonna tap on that. And go up to Music Assets here on the top. And final seconds, that was the name of the track we just downloaded. And you can see here that it's broken down into parts. You can listen to the drums, the drum and bass, the full track, no drums, no piano, no bells, strings only, and you can choose whichever one you want. So for this one, we're gonna do the full, so I'm gonna tap on it. And if you want, you can play it to see what it sounds like. All right, so this is kind of like a movie soundtrack, and this is gonna be probably too epic for what I'm doing here in the video, but we're gonna put it in anyway, just so I can show you how it works. So I'm gonna tap on the little plus icon, and you see it just drops it right here under the track, just like that. So the first thing I wanna do, because it's obviously way longer than my video, so I'm gonna to go to the end of my video, I wanna tap on the audio track, then I'm gonna scroll down to trim or edit, and I'm gonna trim everything to the right of the playhead. And then I'm left with a track that is the exact length of my video. Now, if I wanna tap on it again, I can go to the volume icon right here, tap on that, and it's gonna adjust the volume. Now, 100% is gonna be really loud, so I'm gonna bring this all the way down as low as it will go, which is 15%. That should be enough to hear the music and my voice. So I'm gonna bring this down, I'm gonna tap on the check mark on the top, and I'm gonna do a test here, and I'm just gonna press play. Okay, that's pretty low. You don't hear it. You can go in and you can adjust it to whatever you want, but because this is gonna to be too epic and because this is a tutorial, I'm gonna leave it right here. So we have the music in and we have the video in. So the first thing we wanna do is export this track. And in order to export, you tap on the left-hand side there, you see the little share icon, and it's gonna bring up this page for export and share. And you have the resolution option and the frame rate option. So I'm gonna send this out at full HD 1080p, and I'm gonna move my frame rate to 24, which is cinema, 24 frames per second. That's how I like to shoot. Now for this, you're gonna to wanna to make this as high as you can. That way you get the best quality. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it down low so it will export quickly. So once this is all set up, I'm gonna tap on export. And you see right here, the pop-up, Mizurk is gonna give you a warning so you understand that you cannot monetize the video and you agree to their terms as you continue. So you wanna agree and continue and you're gonna be asked if you wanna buy the app or not. So for this one, we're gonna tap on no thanks, save with the watermark and it's exporting the project. Now, if you've got a long video, this is gonna take a little bit of time, but this clip is just a couple of seconds long. So this is moving really quickly. So now it's exported. You're gonna see the file name up here in the top, 1080 underscore 24 underscore 7.21. That's the file name. Now here's the key. You have to upload it from here directly to YouTube. And in order to do that, you wanna tap on the share icon right here in the middle between the play and the trash, and you're gonna choose YouTube. You're gonna get the warning from Mizurk again. You're gonna agree and continue. And as you see here, it says removing watermark. What it's doing is it's re-encoding the video without the watermark. So when it's finished, you're gonna be left with your video open inside of the YouTube app. Now, before I show you how to render this out and put it up on YouTube, I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what video editor you're currently using. Are you editing on your phone or on your desktop or using Kinemaster or a freed version, or are you using another app? Go down and leave a comment and let me know. I read every single question and comment, and I reply to as many of them as possible. When this video's over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on this conversation. Now, let's go back into Kinemaster and let me show you how to put this on YouTube. What you're looking at now is the video inside the YouTube app. And you're gonna notice that Kinemaster is laid out in a landscape mode, but when it uploads the video, it's gonna open the YouTube app in a portrait mode. So you're gonna to have to turn your phone for that. Then if you wanna test the video to make sure there's no watermark, you can press the play button and you see there's no watermark here. This is how it works. This is the way it's supposed to work. So the next thing you wanna do is come down to your title, 
put in an engaging title. And I hope you've done your research here because if you're not using titles that people are not searching for, you're probably not gonna get discovered. So make sure you find a good title here. So I'm gonna put test title for this one, just for the tutorial. Then we go down and put test description. Now, right down here, you're gonna see your options for public, unlisted, and private. If it's on public, as soon as you hit that top blue arrow on the top right-hand corner, it will publish the video. You don't wanna do that, so make sure it is set to private to start with. So once you have your title, description, and your settings set to private, you wanna go up to the top right, tap on the blue icon, and now it's gonna add the video to YouTube and upload it. You'll see that it's processing, and obviously the longer your video is, the longer it's gonna to take to process. And now that it's just a couple of seconds long, you're gonna see it's ready to watch. This video is ready to watch. You're gonna see the lock icon. That means that it's private. Now, you're gonna to wanna to add a thumbnail. And for this, we wanna use the YouTube Studio app. So we're gonna close out of KineMaster. We're gonna open up the YouTube Studio app. And we're gonna go find the video that we just uploaded. So you're gonna tap on video. Now here's the video that we just uploaded. We're gonna tap on that. And right here in the top, you're gonna to see a pencil icon. Tap on the pencil icon, and then you see the option to edit thumbnail. We're gonna tap on that, and we're gonna go find the thumbnail that's been downloaded to our phone. So I'm gonna tap on custom thumbnail, then I'm gonna choose the thumbnail that I made for this video. Select. So it's uploaded the new thumbnail, as you can see, and you can go back and you can change your title and description here, and you can also add tags down here on the bottom. And when you're finished, you wanna save this. Now we did all of this with the video set to private, which means it's not going to publish. As soon as you set it to public, it will publish the video. So now you go back into the editing area, go down to the bottom and change your privacy to public. And when you're ready, you're gonna tap on save and it's gonna make the video live. So that's how you use KineMaster without a watermark. It is a little bit tricky. There are some things you need to be aware of, but I walked you through that process as well as how to add your thumbnail. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like and leave a comment if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone, or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.